Actually, wait, this place looks familiar. I guess I'll see when I get closer. Like frijoles, those are delicious. Yeah, it's, frijoles are just, um, Spanish name for beans. They're the same thing. Chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Who? Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this... Is a book I wrote. Wow. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. <laughs> you really don't know who I am? I... Well, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Yeah. Sure, you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Oh. So, nice. you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> It helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Oh. Okay. I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. Mm -hmm. Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Two. All right. Legendary fish, eh? Hmm. Uh. Anything on the side? No. Oh. Interesting. That's a good little extra, I suppose. Yeah, actually, I did manage to replace my uh, alarm clock because my other one like fell and it broke and it glitched out. And uh, actually, found some games at the thrift store. First time in a long time. I got 1080 snowboarding for 64 for like six bucks, and uh, what was it, Mecha Salt? It, it was the original Xbox game that uh, I got. And what was the third thing? Oh yeah, uh, Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U. The the disc-based games are four bucks each, and the 1080 snowboarding was six. I was like, oh hey, decent prices on retro games. That's the first time. Um, <laughs> yeah. that a stranger. On a map? There is. Um, yeah, literally the only, the only good deal they had was the games, because uh, they had... It was the same thrift store where I found my 360 for 20 bucks. 360 Slim. And... They had a, they had a, a complete 360 this time. The same model as the Slim, but with the power brick and everything controller. They were asking 100 bucks for it. I think they also had... Did they have a PS3? No, that was a pawn shop. They had a PS3 for hundred bucks. It was a PS3 fat, but it was, if it was a backwards compatible model, I would have been... Hmm, a bit more interested. But I'm happy about that. The uh, original Xbox game is a bit scratched up, but I hope my Xbox One recognizes uh, the game so, so that it downloads, because I have... Um, the insect. I have... 
uh, what was it, uh, Blinks uh, for the original Xbox. That does not work on my original Xbox, but it works on the one. Come here a minute. Since it recognizes the game title and doesn't really care if you could read the disc or not. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Need to test that. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. Right. Assuming it's on a compatibility list. I ain't got time for No, this. well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me, Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I climbed mountains and swam across seas. I have had many women. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well... Good for you. No, no, hold on. <laughs> you see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of. But me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area. Gold. But were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Gold, huh? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Okay. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Careful. Oh. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, a plan like the Blackwater Ferry job or. Like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what Do I Do some crimes? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you. I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. Oh, yeah, so right. What's the deal with this coach? Kind of killed an entire mean? half the town with him. Through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. You'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's I'll take off the uh, marker. Good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? 
Oh, you know how it is. Few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Yes, we're robbing it. Then let's do it. I am looking forward to the uh, snowfall tomorrow. That maximum of nine inches sounds really nice. I get to use my new coat. So I'll be nice and warm. some hate to the horde. Right, Those cores right. are getting uh, the low. Hold up on this ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah! I already ought to get a new revolver or pistol or whatever. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What in the hell? Guns up! We got company! at least. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Hmm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your oh. style than mine. You were Peter. Yeah, I should probably maintain these. Condition is pretty bad. I could, can't do it here. Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, 
We ride back in with a big tape and a new wagon. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! Oh, oh gosh. Actually, this feels like my regular rifle. If you're real, you could survive. Oh, jeez, shotgun shot to the face. Well, not at not that time, but you know. Or something. Show them. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's trip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. <laughs> Oh, I need to. Hey, give me a kiss, will ya? Sorry, sorry, I was just looting. Oh. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the on, on account of, well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. Money. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Hmm. Jeez. Mm -hmm.